Hello fellow traders, tis I the Rumpled One, coming to you Friday, December the 8th, the year's 2023, let's talk trading, weekly wrap up, NFP day, these videos are for educational purposes only, your results may differ from mine, and it being Friday, I just hope that all the traders out there made sure that they didn't lose any more in any one single trade than they were willing to lose. So let's jump in, take a look at the week. We are 139 pips below the weekly open on the pound. And as I look at the dashboard, I see one, two, three, four pairs that did not fill the gaps. And what do these pairs all have in common? They were Japanese pairs. They were based in the yen if we zoom out to the monthly we can see we dropped 75 pips below the monthly open after hitting a monthly high of uh, 127.23 right near that 127.25 psychological line we did not break uh, last month's high and we pulled back Today, NFP day, you can see uh, we put in a new monthly low and we're 46 uh, pips off of the uh, daily low and the monthly low. And if you noticed, um, on the uh, opening range here for the week, we almost touched it. The high for the day was almost at that range, and then we pulled back down. And you can see um, Tuesday broke Monday's low, Wednesday broke Tuesday's low, Thursday broke Wednesday's low, and Friday broke Thursday's low. And the highs weren't broken, so we pretty much have, uh, except maybe yesterday's high broke. Let's see, yesterday's high was 26.12. The day before, nope, it didn't, was 26.13. So we've had lower lows, lower highs, which if you read any uh, traditional uh, trading uh, book, that says price is going down. And for the year, we almost touched the midpoint. We're 75 pips above the midpoint. 595 off the high. 458 above the open and 745 pips above the low and noted i usually only talk about the pound but all of these um you can use all of this analysis to look at your own pairs uh that you if you prefer trading something other than the pound notice we uh came down to 2501 was just above the inside bar high from 17 days ago and notice there was very little action inside bars daily weekly but a lot of action on the monthly and we also had crossed be below the uh, inside bar low from 14 weeks ago at 2562 so that would have been a nice short there for the day 99 pip range we just couldn't make it to 100 today uh, notice the uh, dollar yen had 272 pips of range. So these yen pairs all had lots of range today. And it was NFP day once again. But it's funny, I just don't think NFP uh, has the same kick it used to. Because the pound on a normal day used to do uh, 150 pips. And on NFP day, it was probably closer to 250. And you can see here, once again, the buy zone. We uh, crisscrossed that daily open. We didn't really break out of the buy zone to the high side, but we came to the low side. Came back and got in that area and went back down. Green rats definitely had an opportunity to feast, and actually a couple of times here. You can see in this one 15-minute um, bar, it came all the way down, almost back to the open, then above the open, and then all the way back down over the next uh, half hour or so. The next 45 minutes even created a newer low. 
then from there uh it rocketed back up to uh i think it was about 62 if i remember correctly a 61.9 on this broker and i was talking to walmart and uh and this was about i don't know a few was it, i think it was um right after nfp released and i was looking at the charts and it said a hey, walmart uh, I'm just going to call this out, but I think it's going back to uh, 2555, and it actually did. And then it came back down and did it a second time. And I was just looking for return bars, and you can see this area of uh, congestion here or range ranging. On the pivot, Bambino Flex Indicator was calling for buys. But near the pivot, near S1 was long. We actually got below S2 a couple of times. And you can see prices moved above S2. So for the pivot traders, um, you know, anything below S2 would have been a long. And anything above R1 would be a short. But once again, you have to trade what you see. We took out the daily pivot. We took out the weekly pivot and we have not taken out the monthly pivot and then looking at h4 um, this should be kind of interesting because you can see right here that pivot had been taken out um but this pivot didn't get taken out till i think it was yesterday and this was the pivot that was uh calling for a short meaning hey needs to be taken out just like we've got this pivot and this pivot calling for a long so we'll just have to wait and see which ones get taken out first wick zone in and out of the upper in and out of the lower once again looking at these bars 72 percent of the time price does does not close inside the wick zone And for the range this week, 222 at the 58 percentile. You can see we broke through last week's low, but we did not break through last week's high. Missed it by 9 pips, but 89 pips previous low minus the low. High minus close on the week, 177 pips. Close minus low, 46 pips. So that's for you rats. For you weekly crossover traders, high minus open, 37. Open minus low, 185. Uh, once again, these, these lines don't move once they, they're established. So you can just trade what you see, candle color at the line. Now, of course, at the weekly open, there is no candle color at the weekly because it'd be a doji, but... You might want to look at the H4 or the H1 to see which way price is moving. Is it coming off the high or is it coming off the low? Which one got hit most recently? Uh, price action, simple chart. You can see what happened, you know, at the double O, at the 75. You can see all the price action there. And then once again, candle color at the line. It would have been green at this line, and it just dropped back below. <laughs> Indicator 2 is telling you look for shorts. And uh, one of the things I've noticed, um, if you get a change, a turn trade, which would in this case red to green, and then you get a blue, it's almost, um, or, or an aqua indicator 2 dot, it's almost like the next bar, you want to look for a long, and then if you get this green red next bar, you want to look for a short. And yes, that's hindsight, but you can see even if you go down to M1, here you got a turn trade, there's a short. Here you got a turn trade, there's a long. You can pick up a couple of pips uh, or so, even doing that on these uh, on the lower time frames. Um, I, sometimes I like to look at M5 here. So it usually provides pretty clear signals. So here, now on this one, you've got a red followed by a green, but you don't have 
a um, aqua dot so if you took this trade long you have to be cautious so you could have made some pips here but you can see what happened next and then here you've got that trade you're right near the psychological you could have taken that trade and you know maybe for 10 minutes you might have been sweating for a while but higher low higher low slightly lower low higher low lower low higher higher um, right here you get a clean signal um, magenta red aqua green take that trade long but once again you know simple signals and I tell you a lot of different things you can do horizontal line trades you could do turn trades with signals but just do one don't combine them especially if you're starting out just keep it as simple as possible um, you shouldn't have more than uh, three criteria so what's the criteria one is red green and then what what is indicator two telling you you know and that's it you take the trade you put your stop where would you put your stop if you were to take this trade well chances are you'd probably want to put it below this low or so and just say you know what that's it or if you're using the same lot size same stop maybe it's a 10 pip stop maybe it's a 5 pip stop whatever your risk is but you just don't want to exceed your risk on any one single trade uh, okay for the month we're up to 222 uh, pips in range we have not extended the range for the year yet um, so we'll take a quick look at the uh, ATR percentage no ATR percentage right here we're at 45 percent after what one full week of trading in a day we still have about 15 trading days minus the holidays so maybe we got about um, I don't know call it 14 days we got plenty of time left for this number to get bigger. We'll just have to see if that's going to pop out the top or the bottom of the month. Right now, everything's looking like it's uh, going to go down. But let's see if we can get this number a little bit higher. And you can see here, ATR for November was 121. So big, big finish on that, um, on that range. For November big finish there okay as far as the trade reminder um, lower high lower low for the day for the week we've got distance to MA 23 we're below the open below the lower wick zone we exceeded the previous range. Seller strong control. Cross below the previous midpoint. Cross below the pivot. We got a lower high, lower low. And I think if we zoom all the way out to the monthly, but prices between the wick zone, so in the body of the candle. Um, fade the pivot sell. Or above the previous midpoint, lower high, higher low, inside bar. So that's it. Fellow traders, um, I hope you enjoyed uh, Walmart and my take on change. I think there's a few more things to talk about that. We'll probably pick it up again next week. And I'd still like to hear some of your comments on it. Um, some, I guess you guys are shy out there, but don't be shy. Um, we like hearing from you. We like answering your questions and helping you out. And I'm going to wish you all a fun and safe weekend. Be careful, especially if you're living someplace where there's adverse weather conditions. Because I want you back here next week. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to click the notification bell. I'm not sure how you're getting notified. And welcome to some of the new members of the Reddit group. Uh, they've come on board. I uh, hope you all are enjoying that. 
And as always, fellow traders, when you come back to trade, always remember, never forget, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the Rumble One over.